was kind of hesitant on making one of these, but enough of you guys kept whining about it that I finally decided, eh, what the hell, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Uh, so anyway, I have here a prototype board that I've already made several modifications to uh, after the fact. Uh, this is how they came, and as you can see, this one is quite a bit shorter. The original one does physically fit in the Game Boy itself, and you can see my, my text got cut off, everything. Uh, this one does physically fit, it's just impossible to install because the paper template that I was installing it with um, bends, and uh, this doesn't. So, uh, anyway... I've shortened it down, and what this is, this is a, um, or supposed to be a lithium-ion battery adapter for the Game Boy Advance here. Now, personally, I'm of the camp that uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries are more than good enough. In fact, better in some cases. Not these ones, because these ones are just salvaged from an old battery pack. Uh, but, uh, these ones, seven bucks for this pack right here. Seven bucks for two sets of batteries, 2,450 2, milliamp hours. It's pretty much what you're going to get max out of lithium anyway, so whatever. Anyway, got this here. This goes in bottom like that. Of course, it's missing the the battery terminals. I just got those in today. These aren't the battery terminals I had planned to use, but they were 75 cents and the ones I had planned to use were like 20 or 30 bucks after shipping and that wasn't happening. So i um, going to try and make it work with those and I think everything else oops, should be fine. We'll have, to, we'll have to do some playing, see if we can't get it to work and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to start with the battery terminals here, and I want it so the positive battery terminal is on the negative side, and then the negative is on the positive so that the springs don't, so I'm not putting spring on spring, you know what I'm saying? So that's going to go like that. I have no idea how well this is going to solder, so we'll find out together. I'm sure the adapter itself will take solder just fine. I mean the uh, battery terminals. I should get like a holder or something. Ooh, those take solder nicely. I was concerned they wouldn't, but those fears may have been unfounded. Now these battery terminals that I'm using are not designed for this at all. They're designed to be placed in an enclosure that actually supports them. So I'm concerned that they might flex a little bit too much or, I don't know, something. But, oh, that is not where that needs to go. Oops. But, I don't know. Well... We'll see, this is very much a uh, shakedown version of the mod. Whew, man, that sinks heat like nothing else. Okay. Then the idea is I can just bend these up. Ow, that's still hot. And then that should go pretty much like that. It's kind of janky, but whatever. Alright, next I need a diode, and I was going to use these because it's what I found in my drawer. Um, I designed this to take a through-hole part or a small surface mount part. 
I have neither, apparently. Um, I thought I did, but the parts I found weren't the right part. I did find this. I made this a while back. This was actually originally intended to be a rechargeable battery mod for a Game Boy Advance, but this battery cell is garbage, so I ended up not using it. I mean, it still works. It's just the capacity. Um, it's, it's not great. It's originally one amp hour, but, you know, maybe it was still one amp hour 15 years ago when I got it. But there is a diode in here, and it is a through-hole part. I just gotta strip off this heat shrink. Go. Hopefully there's enough left on the end of that. There is not, but we can work around that. Good enough. Right. Now comes the uh, annoying part here. So I designed this basically with the footprint of a TP4056 module in mind. So you can just solder that straight to the board, but if you do so, you'll also need to cut a big hole in the uh, Game Boy Advance shell here. I'm not sure I want to do that. This spring is entirely too big for this. I'll have to move this pad or something. That's awful, but it's going. Yeah, so I'm clearly going to have to make another prototype version of this. Because, oops, the parts I intended to use are not the parts I'm using. But... So far, so good. All right, so from here, like I said, the plan was to either to just solder that in there and then cut a hole here, and then you could use, actually, kind of like the uh, other Game Boy Advance I made. Um, I don't have it sitting at my desk here, but it's the USB Type-C rechargeable one for the nickel metal hydride battery mod. But unfortunately, that's not going to work. We're going to have to solder the out pins. And uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to use this one I have here. No, I don't feel like taking that off. We'll use this. I don't have the right wire for this. Um... Oh, yeah, I do. Just kidding. I want to use stranded wire. In this case, I'm using 22 gauge. It should be more than enough. And we only need about yay much. We 
we do need two strips. Oh, I probably should have cut more. I wasn't actually thinking about that. It's okay. Like I said, this is far from finished. falling out. Okay. I probably should, shouldn't be soldering directly into this thing, but I don't think that battery terminal is going to come out without breaking. That one at least. Again, that's an issue that will be resolved on a later revision. Or just if I get the battery terminals I'd planned on getting. But for now this will do. And then we can just solder the battery connector straight to this thing, and this will sit on top of the battery. So you can still charge. Just like that. All right. Now, unfortunately, here's the problem. I don't actually have a battery that fits in here. Um, I have... These things, these will fit just fine, but this is 180 milliamp hours. Uh, I don't think we want to use that. Uh, otherwise, the rest of my stock of batteries are pretty much stuff like this, which they're not super huge. In fact, that's a very thin battery. It's just big. Um, I think the batteries for my... Uh, Cart readers are the perfect size, and in fact, that is a pretty good size. Just having a hard time getting that in. There we go. Um, but I don't really have any more of these. I suppose we can borrow this one. That's probably not good. All right, but in this case, I'm going to use a battery connector. So I need this thing, how convenient. So I'm going to solder this onto the bottom here. The left side is the positive. So of course it's going to be backwards, of course. That's OK. Like I said, the original plan was to have that in there, but I don't like how it gets, cuts off the screw post, so I need to move it over more. wasn't really thinking about that, the original. And that definitely needs more slack, but it's a problem to work out later. That'll go like that. 
will eventually go together and if all goes well it should work oh there it goes I don't know why it took several tries works now And this TP4056 module does not support charge and play simultaneously, but it will charge just fine. And it's USB type C. So it'll work both ways. But like I said, the biggest problem is, of course, there's not enough slack on this battery connector, so I can't bend it the way it needs to bend. And I don't have battery cells that fit. This one will work. This is a 70-25-40 cell. It's a little on the small side at 800 milliamp hours, but it physically fits. In fact, you could probably fit two of them in there. Um, but yeah, I'll have to find more cells and I'll have to make another prototype version of this. But I don't know, there, there you go in the meantime, if we, uh, since I can't fold that, with the battery. I'll fold it like that and it'll still fit under the battery compartment and the idea is that you can just pop this thing out which is easier said than done with this spring Jesus thing. Or maybe we'll just do that. We'll just trim it and then call it good. That pops out. And then just put the batteries back in like normal. And all works. Ta da! That's the idea, at least. Still, still a ways to go, but I'm giving this design out for free, unlike some other people. Cough retro modding, cough modmatic. And uh, aside from a little bit of assembly, the parts cost is well. I suppose once I get the battery issue worked out, which is which battery to use, parts cost is dirt cheap. Less than 10 bucks. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Keep an eye out for the next version, I guess.